Hey everybody, welcome back! Today we're looking at some dumb five minute crafts. Basically an entire video of me going... Slippery road? What? Oh jeez, okay, nobody's gonna do that, okay? Nobody's gonna take zip ties and put them on their tires, okay? Just, I mean... Just get some maybe winter tires for your bike. I know they're not cheap, but like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like this is like an accident waiting to happen, okay? Toothpaste on the hair. And we're, what are we doing? We're bleaching the hair with toothpaste? Oh, hell no. Why would you do that? Okay. The thing with five minute crafts is like, it looks really fun and clickbaity and like, oh, I might try that. Just use bleach, just ju just do it properly. Like watch some YouTube videos or something. Cause that's, that's super weird. <laughs> Don't put toothpaste in your hair. Why put toothpaste in your hair when you could like actually do it properly? I don't get it. Oh, I've got toothpaste. Maybe it'll work, let's try it. I want, I've always wanted to be blonde. You haven't wanted it that badly, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What's that squishy stuff? Wait a few minutes. Is that plaster? Or is it chocolate? What the hell is going on? I had no idea what was happening this entire time and then I realized I thought that it was like you're making like a chocolate cone or something but no you're using like plaster to essentially turn like a cone into a ring holder but why would you go through all of that effort why wouldn't you just go and buy like a cone from from a craft store why do you have to do all of this ah <laughs> don't understand why I have to put in so much effort just to get a cone for my rings. And not to mention like, that's like food, that's like perishable. Isn't that gonna like, get kind of gross after a while? Next hack. Regular shampoo, colored hair shampoo, put them in water, mix them up. Stick the hair in there. Twirl it around a little bit. What's gonna happen? What's happening here? I don't get it. Are you just trying to show that regular shampoo strips color from hair? We know that. <laughs> I think I'm aware. That was a cool experiment. It was nice to see. See, the thing with five minute crafts is everything's like the colors are nice. And it's just so like, what's happening? Those are things that I recognize. What's going to happen? And I can't help but watch the whole video. This is why they're so damn successful. And here's me hating over here, trying to, you know, getting some views, but just from <laughs> jokes. Should be more like five minute craft, shouldn't I? Leave a like if you know where that's from. So many cords. Oh, so many cords. What do I do with these cords? Wrap them around a pen, of course, and tape it there warm engine okay I'll tell you why this is dumb you're gonna break your cord that way like I'm dead serious like in, in theory it's a good idea but your cord is fully gonna be broken like it's gonna be shredded and, and terrible highly do not recommend all right, we got some flip-flops. Oh, owie, flip-flop hurt my feet. So we put rubber band on flip-flop. Balloons? We put balloons on flip-flop. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so stupid. <laughs> no one is gonna do this. Literally no one. Oh. <sighs> uh. I'm so upset. This is so frustrating. 
Just buy bigger flip-flops next time, you know what I'm saying? Break them in and they'll be fine. They'll be super comfortable. Just wear them once or twice and you'll be okay. Oh, I've seen these things everywhere. What are they, poppets? Pop, pop, popsits? Let's do it. So we're gonna, we're cutting, cutting a, a shoe. We're, oh, we're making some flip-flops. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, very comfy, you see? Very, very comfy. But not exactly aesthetically pleasing. Like, kind of weird looking. You know what you could do? You could just buy some flip-flops. <laughs> I'm dying. You know, the thing that bothers me about Five Minute Crafts is imagine how much waste you're creating. You know what I'm saying? Like, like our planet is dying and you're just adding to it. All right, we're making some, some glue. Is that glue? <laughs> Do you need, oh, I see. Do you need this contraption in order to be able to shave your beard? Is that what you need in your life? <laughs> but. How do you know what size to make it? You're just freehanding it? <laughs> I 100% think that this will not make your life any easier. Don't, just don't. <laughs> like what, like everybody's face is different. What if you want your beard to be a certain size? Your little goatee. It's not gonna work. All right, we got a lemon. We're taking the seeds out of the lemon. We're spraying the seeds with water. And oh, we're gonna plant the seeds. We're gonna plant the seeds in a mason jar. And then we're gonna stick them in an egg. And they're gonna grow with soil. And then you add the egg and crack it into a soil pot. And soon you will have a lemon tree. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> like it's cool to watch, but like how many of us would actually like do all of this? You know what I'm saying? Not many. It takes a lot of effort. I love to hate on five minute crafts, but some of it's kind of cool. <laughs> I like some of it! Bright colors, so shiny. Next, hack. All right, we got a baking pan. And what are those? Are those grapes? We're, we're putting, we're taking the grapes off of the stem with a like screen. But like, wouldn't you need to, <laughs> Wouldn't you need like an actual, like one of those like net things? You would have to go out and get one of those in order to make it so that the grapes like fit through it. And like some grapes are different sizes. So like it won't, it won't work for every grape. <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm, this is upsetting. I'm upset. Easy cleaning. So much easier than just literally picking off the grape from the stem and eating it. <laughs> Five minute crafts claims to make your life easier. No, it makes it 10 times harder and it pollutes the planet. <laughs> and they get more views than me, so. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a shower curtain. We're putting the shower curtain on the ground. We're putting some canvas on the shower curtain. Stapling the canvas to the shower curtain. And there you go, you have a lovely painting. A lovely shower curtain painting. <laughs> yeah, how do they think of this? So like, you can even see that like parts of like the shower curtain are not like stapled down properly, like. Oh, look at this, this amazing art that I've made out of a shower curtain. Oh, you getting laid tonight, buddy, for sure. Again, we're popping uncomfortable onto toilet seat. So what do we do? Oh, we squish. And we, we take the little poppy bubbles and we put them on the toilet seat. <laughs> there, nice and squishy for your bum. So squishy, so comfortable. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you're sitting on the toilet to the point where your butt gets uncomfortable, you're sitting too long. Like, get some more fiber in your diet, dude. <laughs> it shouldn't be uncomfortable. 
Okay, we're shoveling some snow. We are sad about shoveling snow. Oh, but we have a candle. Oh, we're putting wax on the shovel from the candle. Snow does not stick. <laughs> okay, so are you really, who's gonna just like have a candle? You know what I'm saying? She's just got a candle in her backpack at all times. I thought she was going to use, I thought she was going to light the candle and melt the snow. That's what I thought was going to happen, but it didn't. <laughs> the amount of time it would take to put that wax all over the shovel. It's not worth it, dude. Just, just don't, don't do that. Just don't. You're not going to do that. At the end of the day, you're just not. Fun to watch though. Okay, we have a string from a hoodie. We tie it into this fun, knotty thing. And then we have some really weird looking knots on our hoodie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think that looks a bit weird. She thinks she looks great though, so that's what really matters. Okay, we have little pad, cotton pad. We have candle and we are putting wax from the candle onto the pad. For what reason? Oh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Does that actually work? So what does it do? It just like, it, it sets the kindling on fire, gets it hot enough. That's actually kind of neat. Like I'm gonna give them that. <laughs> Not sure who would actually take the time to drip candle wax onto a cotton pad, but that's very interesting. I might do that the next time I go camping and report back to you to let you know if it works. As someone that sucks at starting fires, this would be useful at the next barbecue. <laughs> Great fertilizer, banana. And then put banana on cactus. You grab cactus with banana. Oh, <laughs> no splinter. And then you put banana peel on the splinter, leave overnight, and then you take splinter out. Oh, wow. <laughs> you gotta leave it overnight? Like you just have a banana on your thumb overnight? <laughs> just tape it, tape it, tape it to your thumb. There was a lot happening in that video. A lot of, that was like three crafts in one. I'm here for it though. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Eggshell, glue, quartz, <laughs> warm water, dye, quartz. <laughs> Who just has quartz? Eggshell, wait a week. Oh yes, I remember doing this in like science class in like grade two. Oh, look at that. And you have made your own gemstones that you're definitely not going to put on display anywhere. But still, would be fun to do if you taught kindergarten. <laughs> Next hack. Jacket, lint on the jacket. I have an idea. Pumice, we have pumice. We take pumice. We get lint off of jacket. That's actually neat. I I might do that. I gotta go get some pumice for that. Shit, but cool. <laughs> you know what also works for that? A razor. Gotta shave your jacket. Shave the lint off your jacket as though you would your very hairy legs. Little five minute craft tip for you from Charlotte D. Charlotte Dobre. All right, let's do one more. Just one more. Hope it's a good one. Better be. Okay, we have, what is that thing? Oh my, oh look at that, wow, oh, oh yes, oh. Oh, oh it's a little bridge, is that for the ants? Do you have some ants? And you put some, some, you put a bridge for your ants? But who's got one of those pen things, what's that? <laughs> That's neat, I actually like that, oh how fun. <laughs> Oh, that was neat. That was so neat and so thoughtful for your ants. <laughs> All right, guys, those were some five minute crafts that may or may not be kind of dumb, but also like fun to watch and maybe I might try some. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>